When I'm up through the night, I can't turn down the noise, say all the words out of my mind about who I'm supposed to be. I start to believe I can't get it right. Remember the days I let slip away, they were simple at times. Mama told me before you leave, if there's only one thing you remember from me. Child, when you're out on your own, a million miles from home, feeling the weight of the world on your shoulders. Child, don't forget who you are. Don't lose your head or your heart. I'll bet my life on your stars. You'll be dancing, dancing on the moon. Ladies and gentlemen, your captain has advised we are now ready for pushback. Please have your seatbelt securely fastened, and thanks for flying with Quasi Guru. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Quasi Guru Air.
Ladies and gentlemen, your captain has now advised that we are clear to take off. Please keep your seatbelts fastened. Welcome aboard the Quasi Guru Channel. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Quasi Guru Channel. Today, we're uh, doing a Vatsum event um, called A Coke with Atlanta. Welcome back, everybody. Hopefully, you're having a great start to your day. MSEP, hello. Technical Domain, hello. Noodles861, once again, thank you so much for subscribing. For those many months in a row, I totally appreciate it. Hopefully everything's going well for you. Uh, anyway, folks, we are today in SkyWest, uh, I believe 631. Yeah, SkyWest 631. Um, with that being said, we actually kind of got a little bit ahead of ourselves. I logged into vPilot and the second I literally clicked connect, they sent me a PDC. So with that being said, <laughs> Uh, th that'll make this flight maybe a little bit quicker for everybody today. Once again, hopefully everyone's having a fantastic uh, day themselves. Um, and we are officially back, though. We're back here on a Saturday and uh, going to try to enjoy a flight here. Flight time today will be probably right around an hour or so into uh, Memphis. Uh, should be a pretty smooth ride going up. Doesn't look too bad. Oh, my gosh. Technical domain dropping in the quasi Guru Interceptor mode. Thank you so much for the... Uh, assistance with uh creating my intro i totally appreciate that animating all of the text and uh, animating the uh logo as well was actually pretty cool so i do totally appreciate that all right folks so today i'm gonna go ahead and look over my clearance here so our clearance we were given uh cleared to the memphis airport by the nasa 2 chook wazer then vons 2 uh we're gonna be uh climbing up to 10,000 feet and then expecting flight level 320 10 minutes after departure Departure frequency is going to be on 125.7, and our squawk is going to be 0470. With that being said, we are being told right now by ground, well, by um, by the clearance delivery person that pushback is at our own risk. Pushback and starts at our own risk. So we need to make sure that when we do do our pushback, that we are not getting in anybody's way or hitting anyone. So let's go ahead and give this a shot really quick, folks. Today we're going to be expecting 26 left for departure. We do have information, Charlie, on board. So what will happen is I'm going to push back, start. And then I'm going to start to taxi up to the taxiway, and then I'm going to call out my location. Uh, from there, though, we will go ahead and get going. So let's see here. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get this thing going. Like I said, folks, welcome back to the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. We're already basically started up and ready to go. I'm going to go ahead and just go over a couple things here, make sure everything's perfectly tuned up to our liking the way it should be. Let's go ahead and open up Navigraph really quick here. And we are going to officially be on the NASA 2 departure here. So with that being said, uh, we're going to be expecting 26 left for departure. So we need to climb heading 275 to intercept course 288 to Snuffy. But on So we're going to go ahead and bug 275 here in heading. Let's get this bugged in really quick. That way, at least it's set up and ready to go. And then we'll go ahead and enter our flight plan really quick, and we should be good for departure. Like I said, I got I got a little bit ahead of myself today, and we actually got the airplane pretty much pre-configured, ready to go before we depart. So let's go ahead and do this really quick. Departure here. Up our transitions. Right, let's see what we got here. Folks. NASA 2, by a 2-6 left. Looks good so far. I think we got it mostly figured out via the Chook transition. Oh, look at this. Everything seems to be working so far. So so far, so good. I'm always okay with that. I'm going to go and take a look at something really quick because I think Wasser is actually a uh, transition for Vons um, over in... Yeah, that'd be kind of cool. Yeah, the animated interceptor scene transitions. Exactly, exactly. All right, let me go ahead and do this really quick here. Rival into Memphis. Let's take a look to make sure that Wasser 
Avanz is there, and I believe it's going to be a transition if I remember correctly. Let's go and take a look at the Vons transition here really quick in Navigraph just to make sure we have this down right. Yeah, so Wasser is in fact, in fact gonna be a transition. So I'm actually gonna do myself a favor. Um, I'll go ahead and enter it as a direct waypoint right now, but in case they change direction of landing runway, kinda wanna make sure that we are given the correct runway to land on because if it changes, I do know I've had a couple here and there with the CRJ. Now, of course, you know, it could very well be potentially something I'm doing wrong, but I've noticed some errors here and there that do attention do occasionally occur. So, you know, it is what it is, honestly. I mean, I could go ahead and enter in the runway information right now. More than likely, it's probably going to be accurate because I just did this sim brief not too long ago. Now, let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to pull up my sim brief, actually, so everyone can see that. Let me get this up. So, Wait a second. OPS is not down. Okay. I was worried there for a minute. I was actually having issues with OPS starting up. So let's go ahead and get um go ahead and get Chrome opened here and we'll go ahead and show you guys the uh go ahead and show you guys what we There we go, we got some brief up now and uh we're gonna go to my briefing and let's take a look at the root here. Also I need some toolkit pro realize that completely forgot so yeah I, i'm definitely missing some things today folks please forgive me um things will get better i do do ensure you with time it's just one of those things you know where you're trying to get going and you're in a rush and you think you got everything done and you forgot to do just that one little thing let's go and load up the uh flight plan here into sim brief and then that way well into sim toolkit pro that way we can actually just type root into the chat all right, we got root there popped in the chat, so we're going to be expecting runway 18 center there, Memphis, which is good because we actually need to make sure that we have the right transition in. So let's do 18 center in Memphis. Let me go ahead and get you guys pulled back over to a flight planning, well, to my FS 2020 scene. Uh, we're going to go via the Vons 2. It's going to be the Wasser transition to ILS 18 center. And we'll leave vectors in there. Let's go to the legs page really quick, make sure everything's configured correctly. All right, we do have a discontinuity in here. Let's go ahead and wipe that thing out. Make sure it's gone. Bonds, LaRue, Flan, Snooze, Mibi, Hotso, Hexen, Vector, Lori, Jaldo, Runway 18 Center. Okay, so this looks good to me. We'll go ahead and lock this in really quick. That way it's all taken care of. Let's go ahead and make sure everything up and pusher is ready to go. But welcome everybody to the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. Glad to have you all join in with me today here for a short flight here from um, Atlanta, Georgia up to Memphis, Tennessee. Uh, so hopefully this will turn out pretty, I'm hoping. So let's go ahead and get everything reconfigured here really quick. Let's get some music on board. Let me know guys if you want the music maybe a little bit louder or not. I don't mind. Well balanced. All right, folks, let's go and get the sim audio back on as well. The audio is, in fact, on. We're good there. All right, let's go ahead and take care of this really quick. My mic out? What do you mean, check my mic? Is it dead? Uh, it's probably because of the way I'm facing the mic, honestly. It's, it's probably my noise gate, to be honest. So, All right, folks, let's go ahead and get this going, though. Let's get this thing up in the air real quick. Let me pull this back up over here, get this out of the way so I can focus on what I'm doing. All right, here we go. We got this taken care of and we are all up here. All right, let's go ahead and do this then. All right, we do have our flight plan completely loaded in. I've also already loaded in weights and balances and things like that earlier. So we'll just go ahead and set our V speeds for flaps 20. We'll go ahead and do a set all on that. We do have dry, uh, dry run runway conditions. So we'll be good for that for departure. And it does look like right now we do need to make sure we get the jetway disconnected from the aircraft. So, uh, let's go ahead and get that done before we uh, get ready here for pushback. We're gonna go do. Uh, we're gonna turn on our windshield heat right now though to at least get that completely done and out of the way. All right, folks, let's go ahead and do this really quick. All right, here we go. Let's do this. Actually, MSEP it probably is my noise gate to be probably not bandwidth right now. It's probably my noise gate. All right, folks, let's go ahead and do this then. Let's go ahead and get this jetway disconnected from the aircraft. Maybe, if it wants to. 
Come on, Jetway. Jetway's not responding. Like, no, we're not doing this right now. We're definitely not doing this right now. Let's go ahead and just take a look at this really quick. Let's make sure. Okay. I'm going to remove the wheel chocks just to make sure that way. If not, it will definitely disconnect. Go to try to reverse. It should, it should go ahead and disconnect on its own. I'm not too worried about it. Let's really get the tug connected, though. Wait, that way the tug's at least ready to go, so we're ready for pushback. And there goes the jetway. Okay. Jetway's walking away from the air. All right, we're going to get the passenger door shut up right now. And at this point, I believe we are good to get going. So. All passengers are aboard, as you heard from our lovely. So let's go ahead and get this done then really quick. All right, folks, we've got our map set, so we're all good for TCAS alerts. Everything looks pretty good here. Uh, push and start is at uh, our discretion, but it's also at our own risk. So kind of one of those things we want to be careful about. I'll read you guys at the, the pre-departure clearance really quick since you guys didn't get to see it pop up. But it says issue 2258 for SkyWest 631, Beacon 0470. Let's go ahead and get that. Yeah, because that is something I tend to forget a lot, is to actually get my beacon code taken care of before I depart. Well, before I actually start moving, at least. I don't want to get yelled at for that later. So there we go. Beacon code's tuned to 0471. Well, 0470. That could have been interesting. Let's go ahead and get that done. All right, 0470. Uh, we're going, it says jets maintain 10,000, flight level 320, uh, departing Atlanta, arrival in Memphis, equipment says CRJ7, route NASA to Chuk Wasser Vons 2. Uh, departure frequency is going to be 125.7. Whoa! Thank you so much, Canesta. Hopefully you're having a fantastic start to your day. All right, let's see here really quick. Uh, our expected go, go, rowing is going to be 2-6 left for departure. HTC may change at any time. Push and starter. Pilot's risk. Pilot's risk. All right. And our uh, contacting ground at 121.9 here on the appropriate end of the ramp for tech. Okay, so let's go ahead and do this then really quick. Um, oh, I see what they're saying. So contact ground on 121.9. Appropriate end of the taxi. Okay, yeah, so so basically I taxi out from the ramp and then I contact them for taxi. So we're all good there. Let's go ahead and do it. Yeah, hot Atlanta. That's right. That's the reason why they had to get a uh, ice cold Coke for Atlanta, right? So, all right, folks, let's get this done then. All right, we've got everything tuned up in here. We're going to go and tune into our ground our ground frequency here to 121.9. Get this tuned up really quick. 121.9 for ground, and then we're going to... Oh, we don't know which tower we're going to get. I'm going to guess it's going to be 119.1, so I'll tune them in really quick as well. Get them tuned in here, too. 19.1 for tower. And then I'm going to tune in departure on COM2. At least that way I can at least pay attention to what I'm actually doing right now and not have to uh, focus too hard here. And then departure is going to be... 125.7, so. All right, 125.7 on COM2, and then we're going to also have center. Let's get their frequency really quick, and we'll just punch that into the other part of COM2. Charlie Golf, so I'm actually going to use both radios back. this time, guys. I know that sounds probably nuts, but I'm going to try to use both radios, and we're going to say they're probably going to give us 132975 there for... Um, for our departure. So we're going to go ahead and get this punched in. One, three, two, nine, or seven, five. We're going to use both radios today because I'm just kind of in a mood to use both radios. Thank you. See here really quick. All this looks fairly good. Let me take a look in V Pilot here to make sure that the radios do, in fact, change over. Put both switches to F2. Oh, so it looks like in V-Pilot this actually is broken. All I have to do is just hit the COM2 button, then I'm pretty sure, so... Try this really quick. I just want to make sure this is... Parameter. Air show 6379, contact with tower 125432 today. That's interesting, so I can't get COM2 active, but... With that being said, we're just going to go ahead and use the one radio, I guess, and just keep our frequencies across so we can actually see what we're doing. All right, folks, let's go ahead and do it then. So, um, 
Yeah, I did. I'll, I'll send it to you at some point here, Tech uh, Domain. I just, uh, I thought I sent that to you already, but I, I may not have. So anyway, let's go ahead and get this done then, Charlie folks. Golf, Victor, Everything yeah, else looks pretty back. good here. Alpha. Let's go ahead and get our pushback started here. Oh, we already have an airplane sitting back here, too. Charlie Golf, Victor, Kilo, Quebec. Did you get a clearance yet? Let me go ahead and take a look at a Navigraph here as well. Make sure that we're actually taking care of here. We're going to open our charts a little. Navigraph. We're going to look at where two steps is. Charlie Golf, uh, two six left is going to be to our left-hand side. You know you and it looks like the plane on the taxi. All right, two six left would be amazing. Awesome. Thank you so much there for the uh, shout out for Duluth Fly. Welcome to the stream, my friend. Hopefully you're having a great day yourself. Um, yeah, absolutely. So we're uh, we're about to get going. Exactly. We need to go and girl from cows and the <laughs> All right, Duluth Fly. I totally understand. Thank you so much for uh, at least Charlie stopping Gold, by and saying hello. Uh, I totally appreciate that, my friend. Clear. And I was grateful to see you online Atlanta earlier Atlanta today. Atlanta Let's go ahead and below. get this started up. Uh, we got Navigraph pulled up. I'm going to move it away for just a second so we can actually just focus on pushback. And uh, let's go ahead and take a look around us. Looks like right now. I got a record. I was zero cool. <laughs> zero <laughs> and there we go. Cool. Technical Crash domain giving himself a shout out. So he is one, uh, one of the people that has designed three history. of my emotes Front on my channel, as well as, as, well as um, done some other really cool things on the channel as well. Like help me out with this uh, intro, this intro work on my channel logo, things like that, folks. It's actually kind of cool. So, yeah, I, I know. I know, like I said, I did like 15 or 16 custom ones today, so some people are going to be really shocked to see what they have. Hey, Canesto, are you in here right now? He's like to see how well I can land this plane here with a mouse yoke, because I have genuinely never done that before. <laughs> Charlie Gold, uh, Victor Q, back to back. Ah, correct. I got you, Canesto. Uh, I definitely alpha. got you. Right All right, let's go down ahead down and get this early. done really right. quick. We're going to go ahead and get the pushback done here. Let's get her started. All right, p parking brake is coming off. Let's go ahead and get go into full reverse here for push. If this looks good, we're gonna push back directly to our left. Let's get back in the airplane, get her started up so we can get going, right? So, all right, right spinny fan coming up. And because this airplane has FADEC, I learned you do not have to wait for 20%. Yeah, now, if it was a CRJ 200, you would have to wait. Oh, and Sky Pilot, welcome back to the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. Hopefully, you're having a great day, my friend. And I know you were uh, yeah, in here a little bit earlier. Uh, I hope you're having some fun hey, there uh, with Beach. Yeah, um, definitely enjoyed the stream while I was in there. Uh, Canesto, can you do me a favor? Can you give him a quick shout out, please? Give him a shout out. He wants a shout out, trust me. He definitely wants a shout out right now. <laughs> there you go, Bo, and I thought you'd probably appreciate that one, right? So, welcome back, guys. Glad to have you in here. Go ahead and get this pushback started over to the left. And uh, we've got the right engine firing up. Right engine's up. We're going to go left engine spinny fan start. All right, this looks good so far, and let's go ahead and get the FADEC increased here, get the power on for that engine too, and we are good so far. Back outside, see the pushback. All right, let's go ahead and just stop the pushback right in here. Charlie right. Victor Kilo this looks pretty good, and we're going to go ahead and apply the parking brake. We're going to disconnect the tug. At this point, we are officially basically ready to go here. Don't tell anyone, I forgot to turn it. No, oh, terrible, terrible, bad excuse. Oh, I should have done it. I should have taken care of it. I forgot. I... Oh, yikes. I wonder if it's done enough. Blow it out a little bit. Care really quick. Dial this down to 6.5 for a horizontal stab. And I believe at this point got both engines up so we should be able to start our taxi there's another airplane right around us though they're probably gonna scream at me in a minute that's fine they can just wait all right here we go everything else is configured correctly landing lights are on go ahead and just chime the cabin here let our know that we are ready for departure go and kill the apu apu is coming down everything else is set up correctly it looks like we are good here for departure out of atlanta get this thing taken care of hot atlanta right now right so <laughs> yeah, folks, I'm telling you, I've actually been having some fun today 
uh, inside of Audacity, and uh, I thought you guys would appreciate a uh, few things I've everybody. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and get this airplane rolling. Let's just take a look really quick behind us. Make sure that that traffic's not a factor that was behind us. They are not any. Let's go ahead and get this hunk of garbage roll. <laughs> As Boeing would like. Right, let's go take a look at the Atlanta ATIS really quick. I just want to make sure that I've got the altimeter right. Uh, altimeter is going to be 3007. Let's go and get that bugged in as well. Yeah. Seven. Meter is bugged. We are good to go there. And taxi. All right, ladies and gentlemen of uh, SkyWest Flight 631, welcome SkyWest 631 nonstop from Atlanta Hartsfield International Airport to Memphis International Airport. Folks, today the flight time is going to be about an hour once we get rolling. Uh, I just want to thank everybody for uh, choosing SkyWest for your flying adventure today. Uh, hopefully you guys are s relaxed and ready to go for the flight. If not, uh, you can uh, take it up with our complaint department. Our flight attendant, Canesto, will go ahead and take care of it for you. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get this thing going, right? So let's go ahead and taxi on out here. Uh, we do have both engines available to us. We have power. Hug's not connected anymore. Actually, this looks really good. Dane Flats, are you ready for this, my friend? I just brought you in a custom sound today for my stream. So, uh, Ganasto, can you do me the favors, my friend, of shouting out Dean Park? I can't stop this feeling deep inside of me. Girl, you make me realize what you do to me. Come on, Dean. <laughs> you might as well just jump in the cockpit with me, right? So, <laughs> welcome to the stream, my friend. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day yourself. Hello, glad to have you in here. Um, I'm actually kind of shocked. It's always kind of nice to have royalty come to the stream, you know, to say hello to us, right? So, actually, I think I was expecting to. Left. I actually need to face the other. I don't know what the heck I was thinking. Let's go ahead and uh, play that off. That did not happen. Did not happen. Let's we'll make sure there's no one Good around. Good afternoon, first five one three at Echo Five. We're not. We're not. Hey, good. You don't know. American they don't five, know. Welcome to Atlanta. They don't know that I made a mistake, Dane. And you know what? Look, Dan, it's not like I'm Sim, right? I mean, like, I, I, know, I know Sim will beat you up all day long for making mistakes and stuff, right? But I'm not going to do that to you. Sim's also got a, a special um, shout out here in my. Uh, yeah, on my stream now, too. So, I, 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 like I said, I had some fun today. I added about 15 or 16 people into my special shout out area. So, people are getting some things that they probably wouldn't normally get from me. But you know what? You guys definitely deserve it. You guys are definitely legends here in the community, and we totally appreciate having all of you uh, being able to join us and have fun on these flights together. And I'm just grateful to see you here, Dane. I really am, because I haven't seen you. Brown, good evening. Actually, I think you've always been able to join 14 a lot, because we normally fly this time of the period. But, like, I, I know 14, I, I don't think the last couple days has been feeling 100, so. But needless to say, though, folks, yeah, exactly. There you go. That's the Sib Caesar. <laughs> Shout out. <laughs> the Hail Caesar from the Hail Caesar movie. All right, folks, let's go ahead and pull up Navigraph here really quick. Make sure right that uh, we right. are not going to get any tax anxiety yeah, here. And let's go ahead and call out here in a second to ramp and let them know that right. we are ready to go. Yeah, All right, Alpha, folks, we do have a you. United here right here. I'm going to pay attention to him, make sure that he's not going to back up into me. That is a big, heavy airplane, and I don't want it to hurt me. I hope it doesn't hurt me. Don't hurt me, airplane. Please don't hurt me. <laughs> yeah, but today, folks, uh, definitely grateful to have you guys join along in for the flight. Hopefully, you're all having a fantastic day. And just remember something, guys. No matter what happens in your life, right, things always do get better. And I think it's really, it's important to remind people that because people do tend to forget at times. So, all right, folks, here we go. We're up by Foxtrot, basically. Passing under this, uh, you know, 787. Oh. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and call out uh, Atlanta Ground. Urgent 513, Roger. Um, contact Ground Center 121.75. Good day. 121.75, good day, Virgin 513. Here we go. Atlanta Ground, Skywest 631 uh, at Concourse Ramp uh, A. Skywest 631. 
six left via Foxtrot Echo, and I do have him from Charlie on board for Sky West Six. Thank you. All right, folks, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this taxi out going. So Foxtrot to Echo. And then from Echo, we're going to go all the way up. Foxtrot. Like I'm going to do a hard turnout here. I can't. This one's a little bit confusing. Foxtrot, Foxtrot 2. I'm going to assume he wants me to. All right, here we go, folks. Let's go ahead and get this done here. Let's get this thing going. All right, folks. Once again, guys, flight time today will be about a little under an hour. Uh, folks, if you don't know yet already, Dane Flats also created a channel that he does his more original content. It's uh, Dad. Dad. D-A-D. Dane After Dark. <laughs> actually kind of cool folks i really enjoyed uh being able to join him with dane uh the other day it was actually kind of fun i mean you know i i, I always love uh going to dane's shows because you know dane's dane's definitely a performer himself he really is and he has fun doing it you know that's, that's the whole point of it, right? all right here we go turning out onto echo now we are officially going to taxi all the way on echo down to two six left and we will be ready for departure so how is everybody's day doing today in the stream? How is everyone doing? How is everybody? Just glad if you guys are bored. I really am. Like I said, you know, it's been a uh, long, challenging week, um, you know, and I kind of feel like it's time to be able to relax, enjoy some time with you guys, and just have some fun. Sticky Rice 1982. Welcome back, my friend, to the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. Hopefully you're having a fantastic day and everything is going well. You are definitely the emote king of anybody, you know. I mean, you. I, I think you speak mostly with emotes, and we love it. We Server absolutely two, love it. It's working stupidly slow. Yeah, it's been kind of slowish for me too. So, one, still two, partying five, from two, last two, night, two, yeah. Uniform. <laughs> All right, folks. I'm gonna put away Navigraph here really quick so we can just pay attention Server to two, two, three, two, uniform, uh, the taxi uh, here. Tower, one, nine, 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 one. Right, two six left by an Echo. And then we'll be able to depart. So yeah, we're just gonna go ahead and just hold this, uh, hold this course here on the taxi out here at Atlanta. And once again, folks, like I said, flight time's a little under an hour today, so hopefully we'll be able to get this knocked out pretty fast. And uh, maybe we'll do another leg. No, no, we'll, we'll see about doing another leg. Maybe <laughs> who knows at this point, right? <laughs> All right, folks. Oh yeah, and Canesto, I also created one for um, our friend Delorean too. Did create one for Delorean. Yeah, um, you know, I'm, I'm telling you right now, you know, you're, 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 the stuff that I've seen from you guys, you know, so, some of my ideas with the uh, shout outs have been spawned by things you guys have done on your streams or potentially your names even. Um, so it's always kind of fun. They call you the queen of emojis. There we go. Sticky rice. There you go. All right. Let's go ahead and take care of this here, folks. We are taxing Echo all the way to two six left. You know what? Guys, I, I, I know this is probably, uh, yeah, you know what, guys, um, we might as well just go ahead and end the stream here. It's, uh, it's going to be another maybe six minutes before we make it to two. Let's go ahead and just. You guys think I was serious? Did you? Because I wasn't. I really wasn't. <laughs> telling you this is a long taxi like i'm actually getting bored right now i'm getting bored taxing like who gets bored taxing well look i get okay look it's not jfk right i mean it's atlanta so atlanta the one positive thing is at least at least in atlanta your taxis aren't you know like three thousand miles long dave rendon welcome back to the stream canesto can you do me a favor give dave rendon a shout out too because he's also got a special shout out now as well And folks, I am working on a whole bunch of special shout outs for people as well. Um, I'm actually kind of excited. So, uh, but glad to have you in here, Dave. Hopefully everything's going well for you today. We're flying today from Atlanta into Memphis. Uh, and this event today is called um, Oak with Atlanta. You know, 
actually kind of fun, right? So, right, I'll tell you what. Really. There you go. That's right, Dave. You know what? I think you kind of deserve that. You know, after spending all the time that you've spent recently trying to get that PPL, you've been working your butt off, Dave, and I am so proud of you for getting it done. Um, it is not an easy, ch it's not an easy feat. Like the tower, one, two, five, four, three, two, get it. Be here real quick. That was tower, one, two, five, three, two. Good morning, Atlanta Ground, Amazon Prophecy, uh, ready for taxi with information, Charlie. Amazon 550, thank you for Charlie, runway 2, this left taxi via Alpha, hold short runway 2, go, 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 go. Wow, thank you so much, Sticky Rice, right? totally appreciate it. Taxi via Alpha and hold short, uh, 6, right? Amazon 550. Atlanta Ground, Tower West 631, going to Tower, 12532. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get this punched in really quick here. We're going to tower one, two, five, three, two. Get that punched in really quick. Three, two. Three, two, three, two, three, two, three, two. Come on, come on, come on. We're almost there. There we go. We got three, two. All right, there we go. I think I got it at least. One, two, five. That's one, two, six. Not going to work. Try that really quick. I think that'll work. One, two, five, three, two for Atlanta Tower. We're going to continue on our taxi here. Echo, so let's go ahead and contact Tower here in a second once we're holding short of the runway. All right, here we go, folks. Let's get this thing done, right? <laughs> Welcome back, Riri61. I'll go ahead and take a look at my Discord here in a minute. Give me a moment here. Uh, give me a second. I'm trying to find my Discord. Discord ad, I don't even have it up, so. <laughs> All right, let's get this pulled up here really quick. What? Right here, okay. Sounds good. I will do that, Riri. That will definitely be a good raid for us. Um, I will give that person a raid here at the end of the stream. Uh, let's go ahead and contact Tower, though, while we're holding short here at Echo. Atlanta Tower, SkyWest 631, holding short of 2-6 le left at Echo. Whoa! Wow, there we go. Nicely done. Uh, Atlanta Tower, come back for SkyWest 631. SkyWest 36, uh, SkyWest 631, RNAV 2 Snuffy, runway 26 left, cleared for takeoff. RNAV uh, 26 left, RNAV Snooky, uh, SkyWest 631, cleared for takeoff. And it's RNAV Snuffy, it should be the first waypoint in your FMS. Go ahead and just take a that really... Oh, up the waypoint here. RNAV Snuffy, 26 left, uh, clear for takeoff, SkyWest 631. All right, folks, here we go. Let's go ahead and get this done then, right? All right, here we go. Make sure we're completely lit up. Landing lights are on, taxi lights coming off. Wing inspection light is coming on, and landing lights are completely on. Strobe lights are on. All the lights are configured properly. We are good officially for the rollout here for the takeoff. Let's go ahead and get ready for this, folks. You ready for this? You ready? We just got takeoff clearance. You know what that means, right? Vacation 73 Hotel Papa, clear for takeoff. There we go. So far, we're looking pretty good. If you want to, you can drop it in. Head over to the channel points there, uh, tech domain, and just click on Toka. All right, here we go. All right, folks, we are off. That's right, there you go. Maple Aviation, welcome back to the stream. Hopefully everything's going well for you. Agent B7, welcome to the stream, my friend. Hopefully everything's going well for you as well, folks. Seems like I am like blowing up today or something is going on here. Must have got popular overnight. I don't know what happened here. All right, folks, let's go ahead and go RNAV Snuffy here for the first waypoint, as we were already told by ATC. We're going to go ahead and set climb thrust here for our power. Skyway 631, contact departure. Good night. Over to departure, Skyway 631. Wait, let's see here really quick. 1257. Landing gear pop 
positive rate, gear up. Can't even speak right now, guys. You guys got, got me speechless. All right, let's do this really quick. Departure on 125.7. Once again, don't feel completely prepared today, but you know what, though? This does happen, especially when you guys, you know, come in here and, you know, get all excited and stuff, which is great. So, all right, let's go ahead and contact departure here. All right. Atlanta departure, Skywest 631, climbing through 4,000 feet. Skywest 631, Atlanta departure, ready contact. Climb maintain 1 4,000. Up to 1 4,000, Skywest 631. Uh, guys, you know what? Do me, a, do me a favor really quick. Give Maple Aviation a shout out too. He's also got a special shout out now too. He's gonna love me. He'll probably end up unfollowing the channel after this one. Stream chat, AV, AVA, communicate, that's right. <laughs> that's right, folks, that's right. Yeah, I had to do that to Maple. You know, honestly, it's one of those situations where, you know, he wanted to have an argument about, you know, what real bacon is. And, you know, honestly, we finally cleared it up. He did agree with me, American bacon is the best bacon, right? So I'm grateful for that, at least. He at least knows now, you know, he knows better. You know, because before he was very... I think he was very ill-informed. That's basically what it was, guys. He was ill-informed. So here we go. Climbing on up here. All right. We got climb speed set for 250. We got LNAV on. So everything looks pretty good here. Highway to the danger zone. That's right. That's right. But, you know, some people need to be careful, though, because you know what could happen, right? I mean, there is always a potential possibility of, you know, me intercepting somebody in a CRJ, right? So uh, I'm going to play that really quick. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when they come for you? Right, that's right. Up to 1-4. I'm gonna make sure I got my power set correctly here. I don't want us to uh, blow through anything here. But this looks pretty good so far. Our nav to Snuffy. We're already past. Uh, we're just going through Snuffy right now. Now we're going BDOD. And then we're gonna be flying basically the direct route. So, so far, guys, this looks really good. I'm gonna go ahead and get all my other frequencies tuned up as well here. We're gonna get... Um, one three two nine seven five three. Okay, that was not for me. We're good. Uh, so I'm gonna go and tune up uh, center here as well on radio one for some odd reason. So Dane, you know how uh, you and Sim last night were talking about uh, having issues with controlling the radio, right? And like I knew what you were talking about. Like I really did. Six thirty one contact Atlanta center one two eight point seven two. See ya. Over to center one two eight seven two Skywest six thirty one. See ya. All right, here we go. One, two, eight, seven, two. Get that tuned up really quick, because I initially thought it was going to be a different channel, but that's the reason why, you know, I kind of pre-tune anyway, right? Try to make sure you get ahead of them before they can even give you a chance of uh, being wrong. All right, here we go, folks. Let's go and contact Atlanta Center. Atlanta Center, Skywest 631, climbing through 11.6 for 1-4,000. Pretty sure that was the right frequency. Up to flight level 320, Skywest 631. All right, folks, here we go. Let's get 320 tuned up, too. Luckily, we didn't even get hit with all chats, so that means we're going to actually go straight up to 320 without me even having to bump my controls or anything like that. I'm kind of excited. This is a good flight. It's definitely a good flight when you can actually get started right. But anyway, what I was saying, Dane, is I don't know if you've had this issue or not, because I know you fly the CRJ as well, right? I've seen you fly on your channel a lot. Um, but on the CRJ down here, um, did you notice that if you switch from, let's say, VHF 1 to 2, it doesn't switch in VATSIM, you pilot? Because I was tuning everything up on both radios, so I could actually have everything ready to go for me. And obviously, I thought it was going to work, but it did not do it for me. So I'm a little bit disappointed, but you know what? We'll, 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 we'll let bygones be guy bygones at this point, right? So... All right, here we go. <laughs> Let me go and catch up with the chat here, folks. Sorry about getting lost here. Uh, let's see here. Stream chat, aviate, navigate, navigate, communicate. That's right. Agent B7. Totally agree with that. Uh, be aware the pattern is full, Ice Man. That's right. That's right, Sticky Rice. <laughs> All right, folks. Let's see here. Highway to the danger zone for Sticky Rice. I totally agree. Uh, I know what I'm what I'm in. Main go with the command. Hold on, I have to get A working again. Y'all should be United States Drug Enforcement Administration. <laughs> Yeah, you know, I generally, so really, I do occasionally use dot commands as well because they're a little bit faster, but I kind of like the realism of actually being able to tune it in the virtual cockpit. 
Um, don't get me wrong, it's a lot faster when you're not dealing with something like the CRJ. Right? CRJ can be a pain in the butt sometimes to actually get uh, the commands to work right. We're going to go ahead, and since we're above, uh, well above 10,000, I'm going to go ahead and just increase our speed up to 270 here for the climb. Now, generally, you can say with this airplane, folks, that you're going to climb up about a, by about 290 on your indicated, but due to the winds that we're experiencing right now, I'm going to do a 270 climb out instead. And then uh, what we'll end up doing is once uh, 270 crosses over Mach 0.74, I'll change over to Mach number uh, for the rest of the climb. Uh, so we're almost climbing here through flight level 180. We'll go ahead and hit our barometer. Go over to standard to 299 or 2. I did I did catch that yesterday though, um, Dane, on your guys' stream when Sims like Sims like, yeah, actually, I don't have to do anything with the barrel because we were already standard on takeoff, so. <laughs> But yeah, I'm, I'm grateful to have you all on board today. Hopefully, like I said, you're all having a fantastic day. And folks, I'm having a pretty good day. It's not going too bad. I mean, I was hoping to get a couple more things done earlier, but you know, things happen, right? So, but we are going up. Definitely going up. And everything looks good. Looks really good. There we go. Ah, yes, the beautiful sun in the sky smiling at us while we're flying over these clouds here over to Memphis. Ah, oh, put you down. Right? I, I forgot I actually had my regular camera on, so um, I do apologize, folks. This stream is not, in fact, stopped by McDonald's, but... They would like to sponsor me just for their ice cold Coca Cola. I'd probably go ahead and take it. I'm not gonna. Lie. I would actually talk McDonald's up like crazy at that because I love their Coke. I absolutely love their Coke. All right, folks, let's go ahead and just uh, try to enjoy the flight here. See where we get. Let's uh, head back in the cockpit for a minute just to make sure everything else is going okay. Woke up at 4 p.m. hungover, so I know better than having hopes to do something. I totally understand. You know, I uh, I used to drink a while ago and uh, stopped drinking. Oh, what was it? About two, three years ago at this point in October. So it's been a minute for me. And mind you, really had no reason to stop. I just kind of stopped just because, you know, I really was only drinking socially anyway. And, you know, with COVID hitting and everything too, less social opportunities. So basically stopped drinking. I mean, I'm more of a uh, iced tea person myself. I mean, occasionally, you know, the uh, nice, um, you know, pop or something will be good or soda, depending on what you want to call it here in the U.S. Because, you know, us Midwest people have problems, right? Because there's always this constant fight over pop versus soda. Um, if you guys want to join in on that fight, feel free. Um, we'll, we'll, we'll definitely go ahead and encourage it today. Uh, let's see here really quick, though. Right reverse are still armed. I, I think I'm going to... Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll go ahead and just... I to forget to actually rearm the index, so I just won't pull the throttles out back before. Can, so. All right, folks, here we go. Still climbing up. Actually, still have pretty good climb performance too, even so. Pretty impressed with that. The airplane's climbing fairly well today. We have no ice warnings, nothing else bad. So everything looks good to me. Everything looks fantastic. Here we go, climbing on up, getting up there into the flight levels while we're. Atlanta Center seems really cool, don't they? Isn't Atlanta Center quiet right now? Almost a little too quiet. Do you think other people would be flying to Memphis with you? Do you have Memphis Center online? We have two Memphis Centers. I wondered if Memphis is completely open then. I didn't even look before I departed, to be honest. They probably are. Hey, Coke, you want a Coke? Sure, what kind? Dr. Pepper, a perfectly normal conversation in Texas. Actually, that is really true. Uh, it's really true, Agent B7. So I used to, uh, at one point, drive semi truck, and I did it. Um, I, I did it all around uh, the United States, and uh, doing that. Texas is one of those places. Thank you so much, Boeing Sky Pilot, for the for the uh, subscription for Agent B7. Totally appreciate that, folks. Also, remember here something: if you do subscribe to the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. Um, and you get the emotes. Well, if actually, if you unlock the emotes with channel points, even uh, you'll be able to play the uh, channel uh, point emote sound hooks. So with that being said, folks, you've got 
the quasi guru. Yep, someone's already beaten me to it. You have the quasi guru interceptor emote. We have the it's all in op emote, which I'll uh, play right after that one. Oh, look at that bog follows. Hello, friend. How are you doing? Bog follows. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, folks, let's go ahead and just climb on up here. All right, let's see here. What do we have going on? We're still not past 0.74. Let's go ahead and play the uh, It's All in Oppa mode. I'll go ahead and take care of that. It's all in Oppa. That's right. There we go. We got the Quasi Guru speed tape. Speed. I am and speed. And we also have the Quasi Guru crab. Folks, this one was inspired by a landing I made in uh at saba with the dreamliner and i actually was able to stop the plane two or three times so here you go i'm gonna go ahead and try to grab it real quick. oh you can go and grab it if you want to i know it's probably in the body even if you asked me it probably is all right folks we are climbing up make here you, I make sure you start your descent uh, to one four thousand that climb yeah, but I just now this actually is, just uh, hit that this button. This center that controller is really quiet here, so today, I'll, folks. I was actually on top of it. I'll make sure I cross it. Really I'll quiet. Just... Actually, you know what? We're going to cross 0.74 literally, like, right now. I'm going to go ahead and hit switch over to mock for climb and let her climb the rest of the way. There we go. You're up officially. Uh, basically, at flight level 320. And then we should be getting... Uh, well, here really quick uh we got about 44 minutes officially now to memphis um that looks all good to me 263 contact memphis center 132.55 uh 3255 all right folks here we go everything looks pretty good ah you don't call it pop you don't call i don't call up cider i call it teeth disintegrator <laughs> But it's so true, though, isn't it, though? It really is. It really is. All right, folks, here we go. We are officially moving here pretty good. I'm going to go and pull the throttles out of the climb detent. The manual, manual detent now. I'm going to see how fast the airplane will want to go. Who knows? We might actually get some pretty good speed out of it. Right now, we've actually got a pretty decent tailwind, too. We've almost got a 50-knot tailwind. So that's always positive, right? Let's see if we can actually uh, exceed 500 knots right now. In a little bit of chop right now. I'm going to go ahead and turn on continuous ignition to make sure we don't... Uh, have a flame out occur. All right, everything looks good here. Everything looks good here. All right, folks. Well, you know what? I think that was enough of the stream for today. Um, thank you guys once again for joining in with the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. Have a wonderful rest of your day. See you later. Bye. Or was it? Fool you once, shame on uh, shame on me. Fool you twice, shame on you, right? <laughs> We're back. We're back officially, folks. I'm not going to just drop you off like that. Let's be honest. I don't want you guys to think that you guys are stuck in like a CRJ. You guys remember that story of that Pan Am flight? I can't remember the flight number, but uh, supposedly disappeared completely one day off of uh, off of someone's radar. And uh, when it happened, in fact. Um, disappeared off someone's radar and then supposedly like 30 or 40 years later it shows up at another airport randomly yeah kind, kind of bizarre a little you know airplane ghost story as we would like to call it but folks look at this Mach 0.822 right now we are hauling butt you ask me 487 knots on our true airspeed looks like we just got some headwind too down to 442 on the ground so we're slowing down just a little bit so don't forget that thing is not a real airliner it doesn't have auto brakes you know what, Agent B7, let me just say this right now, okay? Nothing I fly, for the most part, has auto brakes. And, and there's a reason for that, okay? Let me, uh, let, me, let me go ahead and emphasize why. I like to fly my airplanes, I like to land my airplanes, I like to do everything by myself. No, that's not really the reason why. Honestly, if the simulator had a 748, um, I'd probably be all over it. Because believe me, I would love to have... A better 748 than what's available in Flight Sim 2020. I don't feel like Salty's mod does it enough justice. Um, you know, maybe when PMDG releases their 748, or maybe if they can release the 744, I'd even be happy with that. But um, if they release a 74 though for FS 2020, then I'll probably uh, 
uh, slot myself in as a buyer at some point to get it because honestly it's one of those airplanes that I want to get like I mean I'm really wanting to get it so. people are trying to buy pure caffeine powder really Ooh, that's no good all right folks here we go 40 minutes here to Memphis with that being said folks would anybody like to maybe try to play some geo guess or quasi guru anybody at all anybody at all Oh, yeah, the Skylane. Yeah, no, I totally understand that, Agent 57. You know, I know a lot of people are very focused on, um, a lot of people really like, you know, some good GA aircraft. And I like them, too. Don't get me wrong. Now, don't, the thing with me is, you know, the first airplane I really, truly fell in love with in FS-2020 was the, um, Center, TBM. TBM was a fantastic airplane, I think. And honestly, that's one that, they did a really good job on designing. Pass on the Skyline, give me a Cardinal. Yeah, no, I totally get that really. Absolutely. Absolutely. But yeah, we're actually doing pretty good today, though, folks. We're uh, cruising along here, Mach 824. Just flying along with no problems, no, no issues. Kind of bizarre. We'll go and kill continuous ignition off the chops to stop a little bit. And as I say that, we'll probably get some more chop, right? So that's, that's normally what happens anyway. But folks, would you like to play some Geo Guess? Guru. I would definitely be uh, Senator, just, um, just real quick here. That was 128.0. Is that correct for 1979? That is 1979. A affirmative. Coming at 128.0. Right, folks, there we go. Oh, I see it. Approach 1979. Copy. Go ahead and just pull up my airplane here. Got going on. This looks pretty good to me. Let's go ahead and get a go guesser. Hey, buddy. All right, folks, I'm going to head over to up here you see what i'm doing kind of funny i'm actually watching the stream right now on uh i'm watching the stream in my, to see where my airplane's at that's probably me all right folks we're gonna do some geoguessery here uh let's go ahead and do famous places we'll do it as a challenge that way i can invite everybody along Feel free to join in along with GeoGuessr, folks, as we're going to uh, try to figure out what the heck is. Where the heck we. I think I, uh, I think I played on this map once in uh, CSGO. Yeah, pretty sure I did. I know, guys, I'm joking. I'm definitely joking. Almost looks like CSGO, though, when you look at it, right? Like, if you look down here. Almost looks like you're in a uh, yes go. <laughs> All right, let's go ahead and keep on going here. Not even gonna try bad at that. No, it's fine. You know what, a Agent B7, if you want to even help, you know me, uh, try to figure out where the heck I'm at. Oof, that is very ornate. What I think it is. Yep. It is. Really? Hold on. Can't be. And it's. There is. Odd woman. Finding exactly where it's at because I'm pretty sure the building doesn't exist. Could be wrong about that, but I'm almost a hundred on that. So I want to just click over here. Oh, that was not Paris. That was actually uh, Shop Trace, which I should have figured that out. I should have. Emmy Ramirez is playing with us as well, folks. So we'll go ahead and continue on here. Play next round. Take a look at what we've got going. On. Rome? Maybe? Beautiful. Now you'd think I would know better on stuff like this, but honestly right now I'm kind of struggling with reference.
Oh, I'm gonna guess. I'm gonna guess. I'm just gonna drop my guess in, folks. I'm trying to do these a little bit faster because I always forget to turn on the timer, so. Go ahead and get this out here. I gotta be way off on that. I was. Oh my goodness. Um, so that was. X13, Atlanta Center. Hello, you're clear the Memphis Airport. Oh, yeah. Right of seven departure. Radar vector is. I was definitely pulled. And then as filed, maintain 10,000. Expect level 300. Zero minutes after departure. We got the departures here. on this frequency. Squawk 2002. Okay, you know what? This is weird. Because now we're actually inside of a building. Like, this never happens. Like, did they mean to put me inside the building? Is this something I'm actually supposed to be able to read? I have no freaking clue where we're at. Can I go outside, please? I'd like to go outside? I really don't know where I'm at. Anyone have an idea on this? I mean, anyone want to take a guess as to this is? I'm a little bit lost. Let me go ahead and pull. One okay. There's two as well. Look here. Three minutes off of Shook right now. Eve was our last wait for the departure. Yep, that is the okay, last wait. Are you alright with a, uh, a slight detour? Check is our last waypoint. So, we're going to go ahead and just uh, focus for a minute Nashville here. For the blues, three arrivals, the rest of your clearance is unchanged. Head back over to Geo. Heck, we are at, because I'm really lost in there. Not going to lie. Anyone have an idea on this one at all? I'm going to probably butcher the heck out. That's had a 1376 back, correct. I'm really confused as to what this is supposed to be. I'm gonna place a point. I don't know, at this point I'm really lost. Um Yeah, I'm gonna lose on this one for sure. I'm gonna say I can't even say that because I, I'm not even comfortable with it. China. Oh, you lost on that you won on that one. He jumped in and said Beijing on that one. Oh boy, I was way the heck off. Yeah, well, oh, here we go. This one's a good one. Realistically, this is one we should like all kind of have a good idea on. This is the great one. Find country in four. Sky with six eight one contact Memphis Center one three two point five five. Good night. Memphis Center three two five five. Thank you for the ATC. Sky West six thirty one. All right, oh. here we go, folks. Let's go ahead and tune up Memphis Center. Get them tuned up here. I'm gonna head back over. Twenty screen. Memphis Center, Sky West 631, flight level 320. I think that was my. Yeah, 13255. Okay. I had this. Oh, it was not. Okay, we're good. We were almost there. Memphis Center, uh, Sky West 631, flight level 320. Yeah, he's really quiet too. But here we go, folks. Let me go ahead and get this dropped in here really quick, and I cannot remember the exact point for Great Wall, but there's a lot further north. Of course it was. You definitely won that one in. Southwest 2269, contact Atlanta Center now. Ah. On 128. Yeah, this is definitely iconic. If you can't tell what this is, I don't know what to say at that point. All right, folks, let's go ahead and head over here to San Francisco. 
Perfect, there we go. Earned 4,957 points. We're here. So I got 2,768 points for round one, round two is one, round three is zero, round four is zero, and round five, four, nine. <laughs> that was crazy. I can't believe I actually uh, even tried to attempt that one at this point. <laughs> all right, folks, let's go ahead and back over there really quick. Actually, let's stay in the sim. But we're all good to go, though. We're definitely up in the air, having a good time flying here. Um, thank you so much, Emmy, for joining in on that uh, round of GeoGuessr. Yeah, you know, actually, Tech Domain, I do have bands to check. I do. I need to wait, make one for my GeoGuessr. We do need to do that. And remind me to make a new <laughs> command for the scene change. Um, but anyway, folks, we're up in the air, flying high. Not a care in the world, and just a good time here. So, um, honestly, looks pretty good. Have fight. Almost to Wasser now. Probably going to be told in a minute that we need to start paying attention to the transition coming in because Wasser is the transition coming in. So, with that being said, let's go ahead and pull up the, the Navigraph chart here again. Up again. Alright folks, so we got Wasser. Uh, after Wasser, uh, uh, we need to be... We want to send you the van to arrival on the landing south. I'll turn around on the 2989. To send via the vans to arrival. Altimeter 2989 or Skywest 631. All right, folks, so let's go ahead and take a look at the vans to arrival here. Hey, hey, 1480, how are you doing, my friend? Happy Saturday and Sunday to some other people. All right, folks, so we're going to descend via the vans too, so that means we need to be above flight level 240 at a race and below flight level 230 at cram, so we need to actually probably work on starting our descent now. So let's go ahead and I'm going to go down to 22,000 feet. And Graham, we've got another. Let's go ahead and pull up the data here for that. Graham will be there in about five minutes. We need to get the heck down. All right, here we go, folks. We're coming down now officially. So that looks pretty good to me. Especially get us below Cram there. Second, so the above flight level. Got it. Yeah, I read it wrong initially because I was looking at the. But that's good. So above cram, uh, flight level two three zero. We also need to be down below two hundred ninety knots there at a race. Two ninety at cram. Two eighty at vons, and then we've got a restriction uh, between sixteen thousand and fourteen thousand at mosh. You're landing north. Oh, uh, yeah, we'll be landing south. We don't have that restriction there, so that's good. And then we'll have a rest we have a LaRue at 250 between 10 to 12. Uh, maybe between 10 to 8 at 210. So that's what we need to focus on right now, guys, is speed. So, folks, I might be going a bit sterile here for a bit because I got to focus on this uh, focus on coming down here. So I'm going to go and drop the sterile into chat so everyone's well aware of what's going on. Yeah, shot off Contact Houston Center, 13442. Right, here we go, folks. We're on the descent here into NFS. Let's actually go ahead and slow down our descent. Get our speed a bit too. That way we don't get too low up in the air. Keep the speed up because we're in a jet, right? Therefore, that means we can have get their itis, right? That's uh, the complete reason for having get their itis. Might as well have get their itis because you're in a jet, right? <laughs> Thank you so much, 1480, for the prediction for minus 35 for our landing right there in Memphis on 18 Center. Guys, I'm really hoping I don't have a runway issue there on 18 Center. So 18 Center has an issue there at Memphis um, where the runway itself um, has this bridge, like, go over it, something like that in real life, and it'll actually cause you to crash. Now, luckily because, you know, we've dealt with this before. And actually, we dealt with it in our last two streams, too. So, uh, runway 26 right at Atlanta. Atlanta, right? Atlanta. 
Uh, when we landed there, we had an issue. Four right at JFK, there's an issue. Um, and 1-8 center, 3-6 center, of course, at Memphis has the issue too. But once again, scenery issue, guys. You know, once other developers would love to maybe find a way to modify, I don't know, Atlanta's airport, which would be great. I'm just saying, would be great if they would modify it and fix the problem. <laughs> Uh, same thing with uh, JFK, maybe a little patch here and there, and then Memphis too. We should be good. Um, Adastro's more than likely, I'm guessing, is probably on tower right now in Memphis. So with that being said, right, with that being said, um, maybe he'll go ahead and give me a last minute change of runway. Maybe he'll be nice and maybe he'll say, uh, Skywest 631, I don't want you to crash. Please land on runway uh, 18 left, right, or 18 right. I I'd be okay with that. If he tells me that, or if he wants to tell, tells me, you know, 9 or 27, I'll take him. I don't even care at this point. Just give me a runway I'm not going to die on, right? Like, that's that's kind of like the, uh, the penultimate of it all, right? So, <laughs> all right, folks, here we go. Descending down the down via the Vans to arrival into uh, beautiful Memphis here. Others actually looking pretty freaking good. I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, 29 or 89 here once we get down through 18,000. So I do need to remember to go ahead and bug that. But right now, though, we're not focused on bugging that altitude. Once again, guys, I'm just flying via constraints just to make sure that we're uh, flying the altitude. And at that point, you know, worry about other. I'm going to drop down to flight level 240 here. We're going to level off and then we'll start our descent again um, right at Vons. So we'll go down to uh, between 16 to 14 at MASH. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah, I, I know I can ask for change of runway. That doesn't bother me. It definitely doesn't bother me. I mean, don't get me wrong. I don't mind landing on the runway instructed because I'll just have to remember to land later on the runway, not at the touchdown zone, because if I land at the touchdown zone, I am going to crash because it's literally not too much further after the touchdown zone that that issue in the runway exists. So basically, you don't want to do a full rollout on 36 center, the center Delta and you don't want to land on the touchdown zone the on 8 center. All right, folks, here we go. We're on descent, though. All right, let's see here. 290 here at a race. Bonds at 280, so we've got a little bit before Bonds. Looks pretty good so far. We're just going to keep our speed up here on the descent. All right, folks, we'll make another quick announcement here for our flight crew. I'm going to go ahead and just chime our seatbelt. For a flight anyway, I really don't want people... Buckling, there really don't. All right, all right, folks, just chime in the, the cabin crew to let them know that we are in our way into Memphis. Cabin now, ladies and gentlemen, flight Skywest 631. Thank you for joining in, your captains. Uh, we are currently on our descent into Memphis. I just want to thank everybody for joining along with us today into Memphis, Tennessee, uh, from for a non stop flight from Atlanta Hartsfield. Uh, today, we're looking about another 25 minutes on our trip. Once again, folks, thank you guys for joining in Delta Sky West 631. All right, there we go, folks. Cabin announcement's done. We can go ahead and continue. Let's just focus on flying the airplane. Okay. All right, so we're at a we're almost at a race right now. Um, so, you know, right there, restrictions at flight level. Well, we have to be um, below, at, at, or, at or below 240. Right? So I'm, I'm holding right at 240. I'll start descending here again in a second. Actually, right now, we'll go ahead and start that descent. 1,000 feet a minute. Going back off our throttles a little bit, too, so we accelerate past two, uh, 290. So far, this uh, this approach is looking pretty good. You know, Yeah, we're not that close to the runway yet, but it's actually looking pretty good. We're pretty stable coming down. I have not flown this thing with VNAV ever since um, I flew with Callsign Heavy last. And with that being said, folks, I just want to give a quick shout out to our friend Callsign Heavy. Guys, if you don't know Callsign Heavy, you need to go take a look at his channel. Um, he recently became an affiliate. He's also a real world uh, type CRJ pilot. He also flies 757 and 767, as well as the Gulfstream 150. With that being said, guys, I had the um, pleasure to be able to fly with him as an actual crew on my last flight. I, kind of, I was kind of excited about it, guys. It was a lot of fun. We had a lot of fun. But the cool thing is, All Sign Heavy streams for the sole purpose of being able to donate money. So all of his bits, all of his tips, donations, and subs go directly to Shriners Hospitals. With that being said, I'm going to give him a really quick shout out, guys. 
For over 90 years, Shriners Hospitals for Children has helped bring hope to children and their families, regardless of their ability to pay. And see, that's the thing, guys. It's, it's absolutely amazing. If, if you guys get a chance, do me a favor. Um, go talk with, well, go watch Call Sign Heavy. Uh, he's got an amazing story, folks, that you guys would probably, I think everyone really needs to hear, honestly. He's got an amazing story that people just need to hear because it's absolutely incredible to see what he's gone through in his life. And at this point, guys, trust me about this. You know what? There's always something in life, you know, that can cause you to be struck down and maybe not being able to do something. But you know what? Shriners Hospitals for Children actually allowed him to get his wings and keep his wings. Um, so I know that sounds crazy, guys, but you, if you, if you got to hear the story from the man himself. Go talk to him. Amazing human being, folks. I absolutely love to call him my friend. Um, amazing, incredible human being. Also, uh, Casey Catalina, uh, which um, is his other half. <laughs> Casey Catalina um, also does a lot of design work on his channel as well. So definitely go give go give go give both of them some. All right, folks, let's go ahead and we're almost at cram. We're about to start descending again because we need to be able to flight level 230 cram. And then below Vons, and at Vons we can be below flight level 230. My next restriction then is at MASH, between 16,000 and 14,000. That being said, I'm going to go ahead and start slowing down here again. Power's coming back. We need to be below 280 at Vons, so let's go ahead and start to start our descent. Right, so now at this point we need to go down about 2,000 feet a minute or so. And add a little bit of throttle to get. Uh, 631, contact approach 125.8. Over departure 12125 for Skyway 631. 125.8. Departure. 125.8 for Skyway 631. Hey, affirmative. Hey firm, 125.8, departure, uh, Skyway 631. All right, folks, let's go and get the slowdown again really quick here. 125.8 for departure. Let's get them tuned up here. Get them tuned up. Good here. Memphis departure, Skyway 631, uh, descending through uh, flight level 211. Uh, via the Vons to arrival. Skywest 631, uh, Memphis approach, hello. Uh, you can expect the vehicle runway 18 left approach, Memphis altimeter 2988, continue sending them to 10,000 feet. All right, uh, cleared. Uh, uh, we'll expect approach for 18 left for Skywest 631, uh, descend and maintain 10,000, Skywest 631. All right, here we go, folks. We're coming down. Down to 10. I love getting that kind of clearance already. He's telling me, get out of the air. It's time to land. Time to get this baby on the ground. You know, I'm actually kind of wondering if Adastra is watching now. And Agent B7, so my resolution is 2560 by 1080, so it is ultra wide. So probably the reason why it fits your screen almost perfectly. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. Down to 280 knots. Uh, we're going down to 10,000 feet. So this actually looks pretty good so far. I cut the power back again. We need to make sure the bird descends. He's wanting to just stay up flying right now at this point. Okay, let's see here really quick. 208 knights and we down to 210 by an EB. Right, let's go ahead and just take care of our last bit of our leg here. Let's head over to uh, flight plan. We are going to expect runway 18 left. Arrival. Change over to 18 left. Change some of the data. So far, this looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and take a look at the legs page. Not much has gotten completely messed up. But...
Act. As long as she doesn't, yep, she's gonna do something stupid. Cutting mode now. Hold it off. Go to. Uh, the direct look. There we go, direct little. There she goes. All right, we're have mode back on. Got herself. Should be good here on that. Actually, looks pretty good. We're gonna start pulling the power back though, because once again, we need to be slow there at maybe. Go ahead and buy some speed brakes. Get out the. Uh, the. Uh, can't remember what they were calling them yesterday on Studio Connect. But I think they were the uh, the boards of shame or something like that. So here we go, folks. On our descent here into Memphis, Tennessee. Let's just make sure that I don't have any easy way. So far, everything else is good. I'm gonna make sure our that everything else is looking good. We're slowing ourselves down to 210. For the restriction at maybe once again we'll be landing south there in Memphis so one eight left gonna be our expected runway so I'm kind of excited about that and who knows maybe Adastros really doesn't own fly. maybe he doesn't know or maybe there's someone on the stream knowing that sent him a message that said don't show up to the stream until after I land right that's always a possibility <laughs> all right folks before I forget I'm gonna actually go ahead and start flight recorder up because I've got a new thing I'm going to start doing. Was that for SkyWest 631? SkyWest 631, Down to 5,000. SkyWest 631. All right, folks, here we go. 631 down to 5. And get her out of the air. I'm actually shocked I got 5,000 already. One eight left. Go and get our speed up just a little bit here. Don't have to be too crazy right now. Our paddle boards a shame are put away. We don't want to get too slow as well either. And kind of like, you know, a constant fight that you're trying to deal with stuff. Leave our arrow. Tuned up there. Let's also go ahead and check really quick with our METAR here direct for airport. Oh, METAR KMM. And it looks like our Memphis METAR is going to be at 29 or 88. Close enough. Close enough. We almost had it. So, go ahead and just continue on down. This all looks good to me so far. Art's looking great. Oops. Getting out of control. Way down. All right, folks, here we go. Out of board of shame going back today again. Go ahead and just bring. Take some of this descent out of the surface. We don't need to be that low then. All right, this looks good then. So what we're gonna do is here at Hodso, which is gonna be our last waypoint available. I'm gonna make sure that that is showing up as a waypoint of the Rue Wand Uzi. Then maybe again. That's not there for some crazy reason. Go back to me. Sure, we don't wanna go. Hodso. That looks good. And let's go ahead and take a look at our approach here for uh, runway that we're looking at. So we're going to pull up the Memphis chart runway 18. Up our approach here. 18 left, ILS. Go ahead and pop up now. So it looks like we're going to go from um, this waypoint here on suit Hots. Uh, 
honey, crimson. So far, we're looking good. We're going to just verify our frequencies right. So 111.15 is going to be the frequency. And this departure, FedEx 774 Heavy, 1.7, climbing 5,000. We're looking pretty good right now, folks. Okay. Let's go ahead and just uh, put this away. We'll just pay attention to our other part of our chart, which is what we really need to focus on right now anyway. Pull up our overlaid chart. I maintain low. Our correction maintain 1616,000. Now the graph's going back away. Right there we go, folks. So far, we're looking pretty We'll go and go back down to 1.5 on our descent rate. So far, so good. <laughs> Hopefully, everyone's having a good flight here. Folks, if you haven't already, drop an exclamation mark predict into the chat for a landing rate in Memphis. I'd totally appreciate it if you can do that for me. And uh, we are almost there, folks. Go ahead and get the uh, speed brakes put away. Pull back on the power, let her descend freely, and just rest the. Right, this looks pretty good. We're almost down to a waypoint where we need to get two ton. Slow it down. We're gonna go flaps 20. A little bit of drag here. Oh, this looks good. Okay, yep. This actually looks really good, I'm not gonna lie. Happy with that up right now. So he's going to be passing me over to Memphis Tower, which is going to be 119.7. So I'm going to go ahead and get that to really quick. Right for importantly. Go ahead and play this. End. Watch for the turn. Make sure we've got it down. All right, let's see here. Everything else looks good. We're going to go ahead and just configure the rest of the airplane for landing. Continuous ignitions on. Cross fuel floor override is on. Landing lights are on. Uh, 754, you have an aircraft at your top of block, approximately 5 miles out of sky with uh, PRG-7. He's maintaining 5,000 feet in the back. Here we go. Uh, he must be below us. We can't see him, but I'll keep an eye out for him. 754 heavy. Yeah, you're already uh, over 1,000 feet above him, so it really should be no factor anymore. All right, folks, Yeah, we, we saw the traffic, 754 heavy. Thanks for the heads up. All right, folks, we're good to go here. Everything looks good on my end. Let's go ahead and just make sure TCAS is completely configured correctly, because that guy kind of just, yeah, climbed like crazy and do it. Mind you, I've got my airspeed correct, too, so it's a little bit bizarre. But anyway, though, with that being said, though, let's go ahead and get tower tuned up 119.7 into the radio here. And then we will be landing here shortly, everybody. Once again, I'd like to uh, thank you for flying with the Quasi Kuru channel tonight. And uh, more than likely, we'll probably be streaming again come Monday uh, for the Monday flyout. Here comes our turn officially, I believe. Let's go ahead and take a look. Waypoint. We there we go. There we go. Dylan here on turn. There we go. Or we get too messy here on this uh, approach. See here real quick. Let's take a look at our legs page. Make sure we don't. Six thirty one right heading zero one zero. Right turn zero one zero. Sky West six thirty one. Well, he's not putting me as sharp as I thought he would. That's fine, though. We at least, uh, I caught it before he gave it to me. You know, there's that. <laughs> All right, folks, here we go. We're about to land here in uh, beautiful. Go ahead and do this. I'm going to see if I can get my wrecked head. Unless they're trying to turn me in sooner, and they might be. Are back again. Go down.
Extract Hexen. Memphis departure. Hello, FedEx 6225 climbing through 2000. Nope, she's not doing it. FedEx 6225 Memphis departure. Hello, radar contact. Uh, continue climbing. Uh, climbing All right, folks, here we go. Looks pretty good. 16, I don't know what's up with uh, that, but it just said it wasn't going to fly the heading, and then all of a sudden. Got me a little bit thrown off. That's okay. Tap the hand. We're all good, though. Pull back. FedEx 754, contact Memphis Center on 132.55. Really good. 3255 or 74 heavy. Have a good evening. Yeah. Sky West 631, turn left, heading 360. Uh, left turn 360 for Sky West 631. Yeah, that's correct. Left turn 360. All right, folks, here we go. We're going uh, directly. Skywest uh, 631, these are maintaining 3,000. Down to 3,000, Skywest 631. Here we go, folks. Down to three. Go and get our VS put in again here to get her. Five. Memphis Looks pretty good so far. Radar contact, climb maintained, 1-6,000. Alright, folks. About to land. About to put this one behind us. Yeah, I'm hoping the local axle will probably work. Open. Got my hopes up for this one at least. See what she does. Looks we're good here on the looks pretty good. Down to three environments so that uh sky west six to thirty one, turn on left heading two seven series, we can maintain two thousand. Left turn 270 down to 2000, 631. Right here we go, folks, down to two. Oh, yeah, here we go. Nice turn. You're flying out of Memphis, Rory? Awesome. He has me join the local. Uh, FedEx 1421, turn left, heading 270, right? Oh, sorry, FedEx 1421, uh, turn left, heading 309, or 308, my bad. Yeah, thank you. Skywest 631, turn left, heading 2. Three zero zero four two is going to be approximately at your eleven o'clock one five miles reporting site. Uh, left turn two three zero for Skywest six thirty one. Uh yes, Skywest uh, six thirty one. That's correct. Uh, from left heading to actually two one zero right now. The airport is going to be at your eleven o'clock approximately one five miles reporting site. We'll report airport in sight for Skywest six thirty one. Skywest 631 has the airport in sight. Skywest 631 heavy cleared diesel runway 18 left approach. Cleared for runway 18 left approach, Skywest 631. Alright folks, we're going to go ahead and do a localizer lock now here. We're going to intercept the localizer. FedEx 
6225, contact Nancy Center 132.55. Go ahead and go over to localizer mode. Get the localizer Bye -bye. locked. Yeah. Distant measurement equipment's working Today too. Today, Memphis departure Delta 1788 with enough 4,000 up to 5,000. 210 on speed. Looks good. Delta 1788, Memphis departure. Hello, radio contact. Continue climbing up to 160. Right, this looks pretty good so far. I'm going to go over to hopefully this will hold, hold itself together and just make sure we got the airplane configured correctly. Continuous ignition is on. Cross fuel flow override is on. Uh, all of our lights are configured correctly. Landing check. Just about. You do have to put the gear down too. <laughs> Um, uh, FedEx 1420. Uh, she actually there. grabs the localizer. I'm almost worried she might not, so I may actually disconnect the autopilot here in a second. <laughs> we'll see what happens. We're almost right on top of that local. Tempted to put it in heading. What I'll probably do is I'll dial in the heading right. Not over. She's turning. She's turning. She's grabbing the localizer. Yes. I love it when that happens. I love when it actually works right. Ooh, 42. Nicely. All right, here we go. FedEx 1421, contact Nancy Center 132.55. Let him know you're Got the localizer too. This actually looks pretty, pretty good. All right, folks, we're about to land once again. Thank you guys for joining Quasi Guru uh, flying from Anna. Oh, thank you. And it's Taiwan 631, contact Nancy Tower 119.07. Over to Tower, 119 decimal 7. Thanks for the ATC, Skywest 631. See ya! All right, here we go, folks. Let's go ahead and head over to Tower, 1197. Grab it. Grab it. Almost on the localizer. I'm trying to make sure she's going to grab it. Memphis Tower, Skywest 631, uh, 18 left. Skywest, Skywest, uh, 631, Tower, hello, 30 wind. This 1701, runway 18, uh, left, clear to line. Runway 18 left, clear to land, Skywest 631. All right, folks, let's go ahead and get ourselves configured. Landing gear is coming down. Keep our speed up for just a little bit here as we make our approach. About nine nautical miles out from the runway. So far, it's actually looking pretty good. Not gonna lie. Beautiful outright. Absolute beautiful. L look at this, look at this weather, right? Look at this. Isn't it gorgeous? Pretty sure we probably just brought Slayer T into the stream doing that. So with that being said, I'm going to give Slayer T a quick shout out just in case he's in here lurking. I don't think he heard his yet. That's right. There we go, folks. All right, here we go. Right. On approach here, this looks pretty good. I think I'm going to take over the airplane. Making sure she's going to grab wide slope completely. It looks like she's going to. Looks like she wants to do it. Open, right? Yep, we're on the glide slope. Look at that. It actually did what it needed to do. So here we go, folks. Coming on down. If you haven't yet already, once again, drop an exclamation mark. Predict into the chats for our landing rate. Um, predict trucks. <laughs> for our landing rate in Memphis, folks. Once again, guys, thank you so much uh, for joining in with Quasi Guru as we flew from a kind of nonstop to Memphis. We're not done yet, right? We do need to raid somebody after the stream, and I do have the perfect person. Uh, with that being said, folks, once again, thank you guys for joining in. We had a wonderful flight into Memphis. We're going to get our airplane slowed down. We're going to pull our power back. Flaps 35. Get in her slow down as much as I can. Oh. Get our V speeds really quick, so it looks like our V reps at 130. Attention on flaps 45. Make this look pretty good so far. You're stable. All right, this looks pretty good, folks. Really good at Oh, hold on. Yeah, you know, it's probably better I go ahead and land this by hand. All right, here we go. Autopilot's off. Getting some of that beautiful flight sim cross. All right, here we go, folks. Coming down in for the landing. This 
pretty good so far. Four power backs up. Okay, here we go. And folks, if you're not yet already, feel free to join into my Discord. Exclamation mark Discord. Yeah. Uh, you'll be able to join in with the Quasi Discord. Once again, folks, thank you guys so much for joining in with the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. As we made our flight from Atlanta into we enjoyed having you all join in here today, and I hope um, you will join me for my next flight here on Monday. It's the Run What You Bring Monday flight. But we're going to do that probably at about 1900 Central. Please join in if you can. We would love to have you there. Battle's coming to idle. Skywest uh, 631 will come to Magnus. Access the runway when able, counter ground point enter. Uh, correction, access the runway when able, come up for structure. Flex at runway when able. Skywest uh, 631, taxi by echo across runway 18 center at the other side, counter ground point enter. Okay, folks, let's go ahead and just pull up the taxi chart here really quick, make sure not us. All right, we'll uh, cross runway uh, 36 center at uh, Echo, and we'll uh, contact ground on the other side. Bye-bye. Folks, here we go. Nice landing, though. What was my landing grade? You wouldn't know. Yeah, that's the only problem with the sim. It definitely has a brute. All right, clear to the left, clear to the right. Good to go ahead and cross. We're almost on the other side. And just set the brake here. Go ahead and configure our lights really quick. Strobe lights coming off. Landing lights are coming off besides the nose wheel light. And then we're going to go ahead and contact ground. Twenty one night. Twenty. Memphis ground. Skywest six thirty one. The runway 18 Center. Skyway 631, good evening. Um, you can taxi the terminal via Echo Juliet. Taxi the terminal via Echo Juliet for Skyway 631. Ooh, 42. Um, you have a nice call sign, but you gotta come to Tower 119.7. We'll see you. 119.7. Have a nice day. <laughs> that just made my day. You have a nice call sign, but you gotta contact her. <laughs> that just made my freaking day here in that. Thanks, Emmy, for flying today. I totally appreciate that. Yeah, you know, I don't know. It's uh, it's interesting. Um, you know, I, I will say this call sign heavy does agree with that like, crazy floating effect. Of, you know, he kind of feels like he's constantly having to push into the yoke to actually bring the airplane down. You know? But other than that, though. It's a good sim. It's a fun sim, right? I mean, it's got, like, some of the best graphics in the industry, but uh, there's a lot of things that could be improved, right? And um, it is it is what it is at this point, right? I mean, it just it takes time to get used to. It's also one of those things that, you know, it takes time to perfect. I mean, this is Azobo's first endeavor into flight simming, right? So we got to give them time to get the sim created the way they need to get it created and get it all patched up. And, I mean, it's unfortunate that a lot of the patches that are breaking things but at the same time though lately they've been doing a pretty good job on making sure everything's just been pretty functional so that's always kind of exciting so i mean i'll give credit where credit's due i'm not gonna say mobile sim because it's not it's a great sim but obviously it needs improvements all right let's see get this here Go down some there. We got Uwu 42 taken off in the TBM. Good takeoff. Alright, folks, let's go ahead and turn off this gate. Okay. 
pretty good. Before we pull all the way up, let's go taxi light in front of us. If there was a someone there marshalling, marshalling, marshalling us in, I can't even. There we go, and we'll stop right here. Parking brake set. Go ahead and clean up the rest of the airplane here. Let's get everyone deboarded, and let's go ahead and get fired up. Speed ignition, cross fuel flow overrides coming off. Beacon light. Green lights are off. I'll just go ahead and turn off. I'm off. So far, it looks pretty good. Wheel chocks are placed. This all looks good to me so far. There you go, Agent B7. There you go. It's a good way to do it. The Tolis A3 having a slight bounce. I don't know. Back from the higher idle thrust than you, Engine. Yeah, that's true. That's very true. Definitely true. All right, folks, here we go. We are waiting for the AP to finish coming on up here. Then we'll go and shut down both engines. I'll actually go and shut down the right engine right now, though. Save a little bit of fuel. Both reversers are coming offline. We'll go and turn off our COM1 radio off position. We'll put ATC back in standby. Let's go and turn off our nabs as well. Probably. Here, really quick. APU power is showing available. Let's go ahead and cut off left engine. Guess what, guys? I caught. I got the flight. I got the landing too. You guys are gonna love this because I actually have a plan here. And the team, besides showing you guys the landing again, we're gonna do some co some really cool things that are a little bit different. I'm gonna reconfigure the airplane for landing. Let's go ahead and disconnect from VATS on here, and I'm gonna try something brand new that I've never done on this channel before. Outros. You know, it turns out. Right? All right, folks, and I think today what we're probably going to do is we're probably going to go ahead and head over and raid Michael Benega, one of the controllers. Um, well, not here, but he's a controller. Uh, he's uh, teaching right now at Oakland Center. Oh, wait, Atlanta Tower today. So, yeah, awesome. Let's go ahead and go uh, give Michael Benega, uh, Benega a raid. But before we do that, though, folks, let's go and replay that landing so everyone else reconfigure it. Ready to land again. Cutting things down, right? Go and get this care of here. Good in here. I think we're all good. All right, folks. Let's go ahead and do this. We're already disconnected from Batson, but let's go ahead and get outside of the airplane. Not to do. Talks are coming. Go ahead and go. We hope you are flying There's my oh, and fast. All that good right there. How about it, folks? Let's go ahead and replay the landing from this position. See how it turns out again. I did not see it from the outside. So I got to see it from the outside. Pick for myself. All right, 1480. Well, thank you so much for joining in, friend. And by the way, 1480. If you haven't left yet, created a special shout out command for you too. I hope you like it. I really do. If you don't, let me know. I'll change it, okay? Okay, that's how we're going to do. We're going to take those suggestions. Uh, we're going to do a freestyle rap. That's a rap made up on the spot based entirely on those suggestions. Not prepared, not written down, never to be performed or seen again. And don't worry, it won't be anywhere near as bad as you're expecting it to be. Wow, you're so unconvinced by that. Okay, should we drop that? Let me go ahead and do this really quick. I'm gonna pause.
go ahead and set this up the way I want to. You guys are going to love how I'm actually going to end the scene too. Figured this out. Had a conversation with somebody and they're like, I have a suggestion for you. But I was like, wait, what? You do? And they're like, yeah, I got a suggestion. I'll, I'll take it. You let me know what the suggestion is. Folks, I'm one of those people that I strongly believe in you know, into what the viewers want. Oh, so, you know, if, if you guys have a suggestion, I want to take it. I want to be able to experience the fun. That's my thing. I always enjoy experiencing the fun with everything. Go ahead and get I'm trying to dial myself in here. Now let's go ahead and replay this from here. Pause it because my camera is following. I'm going to be doing it. Here comes, guys. It's going to be a good landing, though. Get me here. Actually, watch a week. Me, my view. I give me the view I want. But here you go, folks. Here comes the landing. Here, let's go ahead and uh, get ready here to. My noise gate set a little too high. Yeah, so the problem is, is it's the way this microphone's set up, honestly. Um, I can't get it tuned right with this microphone. So, yep, it's a replay. Exactly, it's a replay, CYQQ. But watch the replay, though, as we land here. Because this is going to officially be the outro now for the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. With that being said, folks, once again, thank you guys so much for joining the Quasi Guru Twitch channel. Add yeah. All right, folks, let's go ahead and head over there to the outro. Once again, guys, thank you so much for joining with the Quasi Group. A good rest of your day and enjoy the landing. And uh, thank you guys for the uh, bits being shared by Boeing Sky Pilot. Uh, Noodles861 resubscribed for tier three for two months in a row now. So thank you so much, Noodles. Uh, and uh, Kryptonics also followed the channel last night. So thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your day. Take care, and we will see you in the next one on Monday. So yeah, but like I said, watch the rest of the outro though, okay? Take a look.